somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. Over there is Diamond Dave Damone. <laughs> this is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Diamond uh. Dave can't derail me. Guys, today we are taking a look at Shutter Island. Now, this is one of my favorites. I have seen it because as many of you may or may not know, I'm a huge Martin Scorsese fan. This one also has Leonardo DiCaprio and Mark Ruffalo in it. So I'm pumped for these guys to check it out. I know nothing about this movie other than just what Mason Quinn just stated, so I'm ready, willing, and able to give this a go. I've seen bits and pieces of it. Uh, it's one of these movies that I've seen randomly in hotel room TVs traveling over the course of the last 10 years, and I've always kind of just switched it off to Ancient Aliens. Love Leonardo DiCaprio and Mark Ruffalo or Ruffalo. I don't even know how you say it. Hulk. I've, I've only seen bits and pieces of this one, so this is pretty much a first time for me. Haven't seen anything except for maybe bits and pieces of a trailer, but that's it. So I'm really excited to see this, especially with Leo. So let's go! Oh, yeah. <laughs> die. Oh. Just a fat short time. I'm sure he said that when he was on the Titanic. Uh, hmm. It's a uh, police ship. Yeah. You know, for that... They're being moving sea pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, but for being seasick, it looks like it's pretty calm waters. Yeah. Well, some people just... It's yeah, some it's, you just get out there and it's yeah. game over. I just can't can't stomach the water. What year did this movie come out? That's right. 16, maybe? 16? Let us know. How long you been with the marshals? Marshals. What about you? You got a girl? Babe? I was. Oh, so there's the tie. Mm -hmm. Oh, Michelle uh, Williams. Uh, yeah, yeah, Williams. There was a fire at the apartment building while I was at work. It was a smoke that got her, not the fire. I swore they were in my jacket. Government employees arrived in flying. <laughs> well, if it was just folks running around hearing voices, chasing after butterflies, they wouldn't eat us. That's not crazy. I think it's yeah. reassuring music for yeah. you guys. It's intense. The dock. It's the only way on. We're off. Storm's coming. Storm's are coming. It's like the scariest mu music ever <laughs> for pulling into a dock. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't give you a very good... I mean, it, it sets up a mystery tone, though, right? Yeah. Deputy Marshal. Hey. hey. John Carroll Lynch, the man. Welcome to Shutter Island. I'll be the one taking you up to Ashcliff. Man, he's such a good actor. John why Carroll. are they? Uh, why are they all carrying he, like he that? He looks so familiar. Two... I don't know what. Okay, oh. something's something's wrong here. Off Boys the bat, seem a little on edge right now, Marshal. We all are. That's they wouldn't greet two marshals like. So, this is weird. Oh, what an interesting start between <laughs> like this like music. Yeah, look at them. They're in the fields oh. looking for stuff. It's an intense start, right? I like it though, because it's it feel, it's building up. Yeah. Right? Electrified perimeter. I've seen something like it before. <laughs> the most intense <laughs> drive-in ever. Jesus. <laughs> well, security's no it's joke. It's like the Imperial March or something. <laughs> you gentlemen will be accorded all the help we can give. You will obey protocol. Is that understood? The red brick building on your right is Ward A, the male ward. The female ward is the one on your left. Ward C, that building on the bluffs. The most dangerous patients are housed there. Look at the way dude on the right is staring at them. Gentlemen, you will not get through this gate with your firearms. Is it one of those, uh, we don't like higher up jurisdictions coming into our building? Yeah, it's kind of, the, kind of the vibe I get. Like in the movies where they got the police on scene and the feds show up. Mm -hmm. and we'll take over here. And the Special local, Agent Johnson. The Special local. Agent Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a hospital for people our society not only. <laughs> that, okay, he's wrong for that one. Yeah, does oh, give okay. Vibes. <laughs> what? She, she does give off the, the Schmeagle vibes. You see the neck? Yeah. That looks Big fresh, scar. too. It doesn't yeah. even look like an old scar. Dr. Colley has been consulted numerous times by Scotland Yard. What do intelligence agencies want to consult a psychiatrist? Yes, you'll have to ask him. Protocol. Mm. Protocol. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Ben Kingsley. McPherson's a good man. He believes in the work we do here. A moral fusion between law and order and clinical care. 
Used to be the kind of patients we deal with here, shackled and left in their own filth. And now? We treat them, try to heal, try to cure. So this female prisoner... Patient. ...escaped sometime in the last 24 hours. Huh? Last night. She killed all three of her children. And what about the husband? He died. She starved herself when she first came here. She insisted the children weren't dead. Uh, that looks like a younger, healthier version of that woman we just mm -hmm. saw outside. <laughs> You don't happen to have an aspirin, do you? Prone to headaches, Marshal. A little more prone to seasickness. Ah, dehydration. Thanks so much. She also believes this place is her home in the Berkshires. She's created an elaborate fictional structure, and she gives us all parts to play it. And yet she still gets locked in her room and chained up. Well, we can't, you know. And what's more disturbing is we don't know how she got out of her room. It's as if she evaporated straight through the walls. <laughs> 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 that guy can just own every scene he's in, mm -hmm. doesn't he? He'll always be the Mandarin in my eyes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> God, he was so God, good God, he was there. so good, yeah. She left here barefoot. Doc, she couldn't get 10 yards in that terrain. Oh, of course. Mm. It's not a psychiatric term? I'm afraid not. We're going to have to hold on to this. Doctor, we're going to need access to the personnel files of all the medical staff. This is a federal facility and a dangerous prison. At Patient. I'll assemble them in the common room after dinner. Yeah, there's no way she's getting out there in the, no, that train. Look at that. Barefoot? That would suck. Why are they sitting down like that? Tyrant was strong last night. Pied pushing in? What about those caves down there? Have you checked them? No way she could get there. What's that tower? Sewage treatment facility. I'm calling this off for the night. He literally just said we're going to go search you. Well, maybe he just meant in general. Yeah. Who else does she have to pass to get down here? <laughs> <laughs> you, and you were at your post all night? Yeah, but I didn't see a thing. Tell me the truth. I maybe went to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Leo giving him a smile. Does anyone here know what she did before that? She was in a group therapy session. Anything unusual occur? It's a mental institution, Marshall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she, <laughs> that's fair. That's a fair point. That's fair. Yeah. I don't know, memorable than normal. Exactly. She was worried about the rain, and she hated the food here. <laughs> Complained constantly. Dr. Sheehan led the discussion. The psychiatrist who directly oversees her care. Hmm. Where were they at? We're going to need to speak with Dr. Sheehan. He left on the ferry this morning. Well, of course uh -huh. he did. You're in a state of lockdown, and you let her primary doctor leave? <laughs> Doesn't sound like a smart idea. Do you have the phone number for where he's gone? I'm sorry, sir, but it's all down, all the lines. If you're good at working, come find me immediately. The marshals need to make an important call. Oh, that's their phone room? <laughs> it's pretty big. <laughs> Sizable. Is that old boy's house? <laughs> well, it has its perks, I guess. This is dude's house. On the island. Oh well, yeah, he's got to give say, himself the prime quarters. The wrong line of public service. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Nice music. Who is that, Brahms? Oh, uh, smaller. Quite right, Marshal. Who's this oh, room? Well, I think I recall. <clears throat> it says, "Quartet for piano and strings in oh, A minor." Hey. Isn't it common for men in your profession to embark? Your profession, doctor, psychiatry. I always heard it was overrun with boozers and drunks. <laughs> <laughs> not that I've noticed. <laughs> you both served overseas, huh? It's not much of a stretch, doc. For all you know, we're both paper pushers over there. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so he was... We weren't raised to run, doc. Ah, oh, yes. And who raced you, Marshal? Wolves. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jeez. Do you believe in God, Marshal? You ever uh, seen a death camp, Doctor? Konzentrationslager. His English really is very good. He hit the consonants a tad hard, though. <gasps> what? We're going to need those files on Sheehan and the rest of the staff as well. No personnel files will be released to you. Who the hell is in charge here anyway, huh? Dr. Nyring acts as Lier. He relayed your request and it's been refused. Continue your investigation and we'll do all we can to help. <laughs> You're not yeah. doing all you can do to help. <laughs> We're taking the ferry back in the morning. Come on, Chuck. What else can he do if they're not gonna give him anything? 
You'll be bunking in the orderly's quarters. Paulie's sitting up in his mansion right now, rethinking his whole attitude. Maybe in the morning you'll be bluffing. I didn't say that. Ah, he doesn't plan on leaving. <laughs> He's just trying to make a power move. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if he was in a war early 50s, a few years after coming home, some PTSD. Mm -hmm. Jesus, are you ever sober anymore? He killed a lot of people in the war. Are you real? She's still here. You can't leave. Oh, oh wow. That's right, because of the, the, uh, the yeah, fire. fire. I'm not going to leave. love you so much. The song was in The Last of Us and Arrival. Just bombs in a box. Oh, jeez. Oh, you have to wake up. They're here. But she is. So is he. Midas. I know because it's Leo, <coughs> it does give kind of like weird Inception vibes. Just because it's him talking yeah. to a former. I'm not girl. getting that yet, but <sighs> it definitely, yeah. Is, is it real? Is it not? The wife, yeah. We need to interview the patients who were in Rachel's group therapy session. Do you know the state of the mental health field these days, gentlemen? War. The old school believes in surgical intervention, procedures like the transorbital lobotomy. Ah! Oh. Is there a reason you keep referring to your patient in the past tense, doctor? Look outside, Marshal. Why do you think? Just a little rain on yeah. a big yeah. island. <clears throat> yeah, if she's... She'd smile at me. She was... So sweet. And then she asked me if she can have a glass of water. It was obvious. She wanted me to pull out my thing so that she could laugh at it. That's why they're here. Yeah. When I cut her, she screamed. We're here to talk about Rachel Solando, okay? You know that she drowned her own kids? Could you st stop that? Always trying mm. to trigger him. That nurse, maybe, maybe she had kids, huh? And it says in your file that you tore her face off. Do you know what she was afraid of? You. Ah! Oh, patient named Andrew Latus. Do you? No! <laughs> I'm good. Oh, I'll never get out of here. I'm not sure that I should. You seem quite... quite normal. Well, I have my dark days. I suppose everybody does. Most people don't kill their husbands with an axe. What can you tell us about Rachel? She believed her kids were alive. And Dr. Sheehan was there that night? Yes. What's he like? Okay, nice. Um, her, boy, her attitude changed. Did he ever make a pass at you? No, Dr. Sheehan's a good doctor. He would never. That actually felt like an honest answer. Hmm. <laughs> what the hell was that? I mean, drinking the glass. What was that? Well, yeah, I saw that too. Wait a minute, what happened? She, she didn't, didn't have the glass in her. She didn't have it. She just took the drink. Andrew Latus. Never heard of it. Oh, this is wild. Is this even really happening? The, what do you mean she didn't have the glass in and her hand? And now the glass is still half full. Did you? Yeah, the glass had water in yeah. it again. When, she, when she took the drink, there was no glass. Yeah, there was. No, when they had a shot like this, there was nothing in her hand. Yeah. What the hell? I asked every one of those patients back there about him. Who is he? What the hell, boss? I'm your partner, for Christ's sake. You got a duty, you got a career. What I'm doing, it's not exactly by the book. Andrew Latis is the maintenance man in the apartment building where my wife and I live. <gasps> Did he burn it down and now he's there? He's also a firebug. Oh, there you go. Andrew Latis lit the match that caused the fire that killed my wife. But I don't... There how would there still be a connection between i don't know what's real now no because there, we got the perspective no... from leo and the chick didn't have the cup yeah that just took this whole movie and made it like a weird twist mm -hmm. about a year ago i opened up the paper and there he is he burned down a schoolhouse killed two people he said voices told him to do it vanished like he never existed no record whatsoever only one place no one would really notice hmm interesting yeah i suppose mm. you could bury somebody there and but she sent me for water she said something to you back there didn't she man what is going mm. on run run now i'm gonna be hung up on that glass thing until we get yeah answers. that was weird watch out oh oh get in there 
shit. Wow. Is there a twister going on on this island? <laughs> Part two. Oh. Well, they could get some hurricane su uh, speed winds there. They're in an island. True. Jesus Christ. Damn it. I'm not here to kill ladies. We got through the gates at Dark Isle. The common dog tried to kill himself. God surrendered. We took their guns. We lined them up. It was murder. You know, this place is funded by a special grant. You act? How exactly fighting the commies from an island in Boston Harbor? By conducting experiments on the mind. Guy's name is George Noyce. He almost beats his professor to death. It ends up here Jeez. in Ashcliffe. They release him after one year. He walks into a bar, stabs three men to death, begs the judge for the electric chair anywhere but a mental hospital. And you found him? Yeah, I found him. I'm gonna get the proof, and I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Everything about this place stinks of government ops. What if they wanted you here? Marshal, are you out here? We're getting off this goddamn island, you and me! What is going uh, on? I can't figure it out yet. <laughs> I'm so confused. You know, I, just, I think I turned it off by, all right, <laughs> let's, let's watch some ancient aliens. <laughs> Stuff I can understand. Yeah. <laughs> All would see patients be placed in manual restraints. If the facility floods, they'll drown. There's a backup generator. And if that goes, the cell doors will open. I put all 42 in wards A and B in manual restraints as well. You said you had no idea what that second line could refer to, correct? Yes, I'm afraid I still don't. Wait, how did he know about the law of four? Yeah. Well, you know, so don't say anything. He might have told the other people what the note said. A total of, what, 66 patients at this facility? That is correct, yes. It seems to me Rachel Solando is suggesting that you have a 67th patient, doctor. What are they doing here? We're doing our goddamn job. Rachel's been found. What? She's here. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? There's something going on now. Okay, it's definitely not the woman from <laughs> out in the yard. Oh, and Jeez. she's as real as him standing there. Is she going to interrogate him? Who are these men? They have a few questions. There has been a sighting of a known communist. In this neighborhood? Yes, I'm afraid so. If you could tell us what you did yesterday, where you were. I made breakfast for Jim and the children. He's like, none of this I can write down. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to take a long swim in the lake. I see. Why is he He's getting emotional mm. with this interview here? I mean, because he's seen firsthand what she believes and how committed she is to it. I thought of you. Do these two know each other? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you know how lonely I've been, Jim? Oh, she thinks oh, he's Jim. Wait, mm -hmm. huh? I cry every night. Okay, why would they be letting a mental institute prisoner get this close to a marshal? Hmm. Something's oh, wrong here. Oh, am I supposed here. to spot? Something's real. Okay. Because they're... Because they're patients and Kingsley treats them with respect. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they would let. <clears throat> well, maybe. Well, they've got complete okay. rule there. Yeah, the whole this would not fly. <laughs> My Jim's dead, so who the f are you? <laughs> yeah, she's not all there. <laughs> all right. What in that? What is yeah. happening? We found her down by the lighthouse, skipping stones. I'm gonna have to ask you to what go down into the lake. What about her feet? Bullshit. What about her feet? Hey, what's going on with him now? Are you all right? You look pale. Boss, you okay? Oh, the lighting from his dream. Mm. Marshal, are you having a migraine? I'll be all right. Prescribe him some whiskey or what? Take these, Marshal. A couple of hours, you'll be as clear as a bell. What's wrong with them? I don't, I don't want to stop pills. the pain. It's weird that they have the pills in the cup, and he gave them the aspirin in the cup earlier. Like, would you give, you know, I thought that was weird. Dude, Dave, there's a lot of weird <laughs> stuff going on right now, man. Well, if you, somebody asked for aspirin, you wouldn't put it in a sure cup and give it to him. You'd just be like, here's two, shake it to him. Well, this is and also the 50s. Yeah. This got is the second 50s. time they've put medication in a cup for him. Something's... This is real, real fucking weird. I'm still hung up on the glass, so <laughs> yeah. something's not real here. I just don't know where. Ha, huh, this guy. <laughs> ah, it's our boy Who Buffalo Bill. Don't you worry about him, all right? Looks like an ex-military prick, huh? 
You're going back in limbo. Well, he's yeah. back Three in Germany. levels. He's back in Germany again. I wonder if the kick will wake him up. <laughs> Is this whole movie like a, a giant dream? I feel like it's like this feels like in, like a weird version of Inception, doesn't it? I feel like they're gonna hit us with he's dreaming that he's on Shutter Island. Oh, oh, okay. Jesus. You should have saved me. You should have saved all of us. I don't know if this is the right way of thinking, but I'm starting to believe everything that we see in these dreams are are real. And then everything that's on Shutter Island right now is not. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, oh. You did a great job with that yeah. scar. Wow. And the eyes. Oh, my feelings. I know how much you need it. The clock's ticking, my friend. We're running out of time. Man, is Mark even real? I'm telling you, this whole trip to Shutter Island is a dream. Oh. Give me a hand here. It's all a... Oh, no. oh, Jesus. Look at the smoke's going back into yeah, the cigarette backwards. I could get into trouble. Her hands were full of blood and nothing was on his shoulder. Well, and as the camera well, switched, granted, we're still in the dream, shoulder. but... I'm dead. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but didn't they say his kids died in the fire? If he's like having flashbacks of his wife and his kids? No, these, he didn't have any kids. Yeah. He just had a wife. Yeah. This oh. is that woman's kids. Oh, the woman's that... kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. I'm getting yeah. it confused. His wife was Michelle Williams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aren't they beautiful? Creepy. Oh, she's. What is she saying? She's what? Saying something. <laughs> Who is that running around in high heels out in that? Is that right Michelle? That didn't wake up the dude next to the door? Yeah. It's, oh, and it's Michelle. He's still dreaming. Mm. Latus isn't dead. I know. You need to find him and you kill him dead. Well, right now, if he would kill him, he's listening to the voices in his head mm -hmm. telling him to do it. And then he would just end up there. Shooting head toward A. Warning. Okay. Shoot. I got it. Backup generators failed. Whole place has gone crazy. Hmm. Shocker. Where's the move? Electrical. Oh, I think the whole electrical system is fried. Nice day for a stroll, don't you think? For Ward C, for example. Again, I don't know if this is real right now, though. Jesus Christ. You see one, don't try to restrain them yourselves. These fuckers will kill you. I don't think they were supposed to be there at all. Why would a warden that's there tell them that? This is odd, because why is that guy running? I feel like that was just a... Oh, I don't I think Keep giving me this answers, whole please. island is a dream. That's my early, well, we're halfway through it, early prediction. It's silent. That's not really. No! Oh, oh, tag, you're it! Tag, you're it! Oh, my God. Well, I take those two, that's for sure. Why would he be chasing Teddy. a guy like that? Ooh, this is going to get interesting. That's set up. Ooh. So. Oh. The hell are those noises? Sounds like a bird. A monster. I don't want to leave you, all right? We hear things here about the outside world. Oh. Ooh. Jesus, dude, you're a marshal, remember? Jesus Christ, Teddy. And Jesus. Give me a hand with him. Gotta get him to the infirmary. See what I'm saying? Like, how many floors are we supposed to be looking at here? Oh, oh come on, oh, man. Oh, oh. Oh. That's pretty damn funny. After all the lies you told me, let me see your face. It's about exposing the truth. It's about you! It's not him. No. It's all tip of the ball. George Norris. Who did this to you, George? You did. They knew! Everything you were up to, all of this, is for you. Not investigating anything. Let her go. Tell him why. You gotta do it. There's no other way. She's gonna kill you. You're just trying to figure out what's going on. I stopped trying to figure it out. <laughs> I want them to give me the answers. <laughs> There's no point in trying to figure this out. I can't! And you'll never leave this island. He's transferred. 
Out of here. The lighthouse. I feel like that guy was his subconscious. Pearson had called her in the building. Just keep going. You belong here. <laughs> just walked right out. What happened to you? I took a little detour. The patient records. Ashcliff's that way. I'm not going to Ashcliff. I'm going to that lighthouse. Ha! Ah, oh. He's going to the lighthouse. <laughs> sure you are. <laughs> That's there it is. Jeez. Damn. There's no way we could cross those rocks. I'm getting to that lighthouse. You understand? <laughs> You're acting like... Like what? Like what? What the hell happened back there in those cells, Ted? Uh, I don't think he's gonna tell you. Uh, what do you think the weather's like in Portland, Chuck? I'm from Seattle. <laughs> Testing you. <laughs> I'm going on alone. Well, I'm... I just right, wanted to get, get there. Get there. What's going on. Hmm. You gotta swim. Nah. Uh, I knew it wouldn't take long, but I couldn't get to it. The tide was up. And he gone. Chuck! No. You see the way Whoa. they you see the way they just did that. Oh, what the f Go on. It's an impressive climb down. Yeah, he got, he got on pretty quick, huh? Wearing what he's wearing in a pair of PF flyers or whatever he's wearing. <laughs> oh, look at it. Chuck's a dream. Yeah. This whole place is a dream. Pass, oh. pass, pass. Oh, that's a lot of rats. Oh, man. See the back sky? Looks like CGI, doesn't it? it doesn't... Well, it's because it is. <laughs> yeah. I know, but it's like it's like they're not even it's trying. Like, that's It's not, this it's movie's like overt. not. Yeah, the movie's not from 1975. It's too obviously CGI. That's how they're trying to subtly tell you it's a dream. Who are you? I want to make sure that what you're holding won't hurt me. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. Wasn't that that chick wearing that same dress in the beginning? Rachel Solando. I never had children. And before I was a patient at Ashcliff, I worked here. I was a doctor, Marshall. Oh. What the hell is going on? I started asking about these large shipments of sodium amytal. You ever heard of a transorbital lobotomy? As a matter of fact, I did. Yep. Do you know how pain enters the body, Marshall? Depends on where you're hurt. No, the brain controls pain. What if you could control it? Recreate a man so he doesn't feel pain. Super soldier program. <laughs> what? That's why they're working for Huac. They're creating ghosts to go out in the world and do things that would take years, years, years of research. Let me ask you, any past traumas in your life? Yeah. Well, oh, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so then, but then what with Mark Ruffalo, though, too? What did he have in the past? Trouble sleeping, headaches. Mm. You haven't taken any pills, have you? You tell me at least that you've been smoking your own cigarettes. Oh. Well. The orderly gave him the smoke. He didn't have any right from the start. It takes 36 to 48 hours for neuroleptic narcotics to reach. Palsy comes first. First the fingertips and eventually the whole hand. You can't stay here. I'm afraid if they come looking for you, they might find me. Well, how? She can't live in there forever. Hmm. Well, she's just going to wait for her moment. The only way off the island is a ferry, and they control it. So how is she surviving then without food? Well, she had a couple of cans Did she? with her, yeah, by the fire. I had a friend. I was with him yesterday, but we got separated. You have no friends. <laughs> he just <laughs> climbed that in that outfit. It can happen, Dave. Well, it looks like there were some decent rocks there. <laughs> he skimmed down it in like two minutes, so I, I think. He... Look at this place. There you are, taking a leisurely stroll, weren't we? Just, just looking around. God loves violence. It's in us. It's what we are. It's what we are, Dave. <laughs> we are. It's what we are. God damn it. There's just this. Can my violence conquer yours? Not violent. Yes, you are. You know, he's a great driver, considering he's barely walking the road. <laughs> well, it's a Jeep. They go pretty slow. <laughs> if I was to sink my teeth into your eye, would you be able to stop me before I blinded you? Give it a try. That's the spirit. This is quite the journey uh, we have been going on here so far. Very much so. 
Where have you been? Oh, just wandering. You're taking the ferry? I think we've gotten all we came here for. Have you seen him, Doctor? My partner, Chuck. You don't have a partner, Marshal. You came here alone. Oh, <laughs> goosebumps. So tell me again about your partner. Is he a what patient? <laughs> oh, now he just said, what partner? Is he playing a game? You know, I was thinking that earlier. I'm like, is he somebody who is at this hospital? Is this a fight club? Hey, boxing and wrestling. Good choice. Okay. Well, there you go. Be real, folks. Was there anyone else at this stage of the game of the movie that was super confused to be honest? Going somewhere? Heading out to the ferry. So. Ah, find you someone who can take you to the dock. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's this? It, it's, it's just a sedative. He's a patient there. Yeah. All this has been one big, weird story. The word trauma comes from the Greek for wound. Wounds can create monsters, and you, you are wounded, Marshal. Ah, no. <clears throat> okay, what I was going to say is, what if the whole thing is legit? He's a real Marshal onto the sketchy shit they're doing there, and they're trying to cover it up by making him look like he's crazy so he can't go back to the real world and say, like, that's hey. What, that's what the doctor in the cave said. Yeah. yeah. This, I think sh the doctor in the cave is right. He's a normal dude busting out the sketchy shit they're doing there, and so their solution to hide what they're doing is to tell the mainland, oh, this dude's crazy. What are you doing, baby? You gotta get to the ferry. If the world thinks that Chuck is dead, then he's perfect for their experiments. There's only one place they'd take him. The lighthouse. Please don't do this. Don't go. I love this thing because you gave it to me. There's one fucking ugly tie. <laughs> <laughs> Watch, it doesn't blow up. Oh, whoa. Sorry. It's not real. Then again, I don't even know what's real right now. Wonder about him climbing a rock. So he's scaled that and jumped up nice and easily. Pro. Don't move. Stay where you are. Are you, you going to kill me? No. Oh, it's gonna take Just your face off. Knock right. the fuck out. Is it just spitting? Oh, never mind. It was just the unique way they shot it. This is your Michael Bay camera shot there? Gotta be getting close to the top, right? Yeah. There I think we're there. Why are you all wet, baby? What did you say? You know exactly what I said. Took a zip line over. <laughs> See? <laughs> Trying to make him think he's crazy. The rifle's empty, by the way. Have a seat. Yes, he's here. Dr. Sheehan came in on the ferry this morning. She told me about the neuroleptics. Did she know? You'll never get to her. I don't doubt it, considering she's not real. What the fuck is this? Withdrawal. Chlorpromazine. The same thing we've been giving you for the past 24 months. You really think you're gonna convince me I'm crazy, huh? Haitian is highly intelligent, highly delusional, decorated army veteran. Shows no remorse for his crime because he denies. I've had enough of this bullshit. Where's, where's my partner, huh? You're gonna say he took him out? Is that what this is leading to? Your wife's maiden name was Chanav. Notice anything these four names have in common? The names have the same letters. The 67th patient at Ashcliffe is you, Andrew. He took his wife out. You've created a story in which you're not a murderer. You were at Dachau, but you may not have killed any guards. You're the most dangerous patient we have. Permanent measures will be taken to ensure you can't hurt anyone ever again. They'll lobotomize you, Andrew. Dr. Nehring's gonna turn me into one of his ghosts. <laughs> Is he Sheehan? Sheenan, the doctor? Sheehan? Yeah, sure, sure you know. Oh, so clean over here, stone-faced. <laughs> you, you working for him? I've been your primary psychiatrist for the last two years. I'm Lester Sheehan. Holy sh! What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I risked everything to come in here after you. Everything! I thought that if we let you play this out, we could get you to see how untrue, how impossible it is. <laughs> this is all a part of treatment. Where are the Nazi experiments? The satanic ORs. It's true. We didn't see any of that. Nope. This whole thing was orchestrated the whole time. 
That's probably why the guards had their guns the way they did. We came in. <laughs> oh my god. If... Go move, go move! Go, go. Andrew, no. Did he just imagine that? Oh my god. <laughs> Dolores was insane, manic depressive, suicidal. She purposely set your city apartment on fire. You're going to hit you with the. Andrew, your children, Andrew, your children. I never had any children. Oh your wife drowned God. them. I never had a little girl. The one who tells you over and over that you should have saved her. Oh my God. He's. I'm so sorry, baby. I told you not to come in here. This is wild. Oh my God. What a twist. Hmm. Oh, we're we gonna got him just outside Oklahoma. We're gonna get to see it. Oh no! He was the neighbor that came home, wasn't he? Oh my god! Oh my god! No! 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 Dolores. Look at how it's all wet right there. Mm -hmm. She just did it. Baby, why are you all wet? Baby, why are you all wet? Mm-hmm. It's exactly what the doctor said to him. Where are the kids? They're in school. School's not in on Saturday. My school is. Jesus. Oh, oh my. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. No. <laughs> we'll dry them off. We'll change the clothes. Please stop talking. Oh no. Set me free. <laughs> we'll give them baths. So love you so much. I love you like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Andrew, can you hear me? Rachel. Rachel. Why are you here? Because I killed my wife. And why did you do that? Because she murdered our children. She told me to let her go. Dolores told me she, she had an insect living inside her brain. He knew the whole time that she was... Mm. Why did you make them up? Because I can't take knowing that Dolores killed our children. We broke through once before, nine months ago, and then you regressed. I hope that what we've done here will be enough to stop it. I need to know you've accepted reality. He tried to help me when no one else would. Gosh, now what's gonna happen here? How are we doing this morning? Good. Don't. <laughs> well, we don't know. <laughs> well, it's bad for what's you. What's our next move? Yeah. Oh, shit. What's our next move? He regressed already. Well, he's his doctor. Gotta get off this rock, Chuck. <sighs> They're all gonna pin him in. Oh yep. no. Here's the right. here's the ice pick. Which would be worse? To live as a monster or to die as a good man? Well, that's a weird question. Mm -hmm. Wait. Is he doing this on purpose? Teddy? Oh shit. Is he doing it on purpose? Wait, he's just walking with them. He did that on purpose. Oh, bastards. <laughs> Marty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was go. so much fun for me. You I, fi I finally got to experience one uh, where I had seen it and these guys hadn't. It had been a long time. With all the twists uh, and turns. You know, that I've, A, seen this movie. It had been a minute, but it had been a long time since uh, we'd, we'd done a movie that I had seen and these guys hadn't. So that was a lot of fun. I don't think Leo gets enough credit for his acting in this one. Now, we've seen him do some stuff where he's incredible. I mean, he's worked with Martin Scorsese a number of times, uh, you know, and a number of other high-level directors, and it's just like he just crushes it every single time, and this movie was no exception. 
absolute brilliant performance from Leo and everyone else included. The score was incredible as mm-hmm. these guys touched on right in the beginning. I loved that. The one thing I will say, <laughs> I, I've seen this a handful of times. This was the first time I caught the scene with the cup uh, with the woman at the table uh-huh. where she was like oh, really? to drink something. Yeah, this is the first time that I caught that. So that was a lot of fun to see. But this is definitely one of those movies where after you know the story, you go back and watch it and you're like, oh, that makes sense. Look at the way they're, and yeah. you guys caught a few things early on, and I was hoping you wouldn't figure it out too soon. But they threw a number, they threw a number of twists in there to throw oh, you yeah, off track. I was, yeah, so. I was still kind of in the dark yeah. when Kingsley was telling him exactly yeah. what was going on in so his life. They threw a number of things in there uh, to throw you guys off, which I was happy about. I mean, Martin Scorsese, what can you say? Absolutely brilliant, uh, just a genius of our time. I love everything he does. Um, the CGI was was interesting. You guys hit on that, and I, I go back and forth as to whether you know everything took place in the movie in the exact setting where we saw it happen because we saw um, Andrew uh, his character have a number of different episodes where what was real, what wasn't. Mm-hmm. He was seeing his wife, and then you know different settings that he was in. So. I'm with you, Oak. I think that the CGI was intentionally done to look a little bit like it's not real to portray Leo's, well, Andrew's in his dream uh, when that stuff was happening. So that was a lot of fun. And um, uh, do you want to wait on no, scores, just, just Dave? Real quick, or? Remember, real quick, yeah. remember when I said, what year did this come out? I specifically said that because I was like, the the background looks really shitty <laughs> and i was like if this is like early 2000s 2000, 2010 like the rather CGI, not cgi like you could tell it was boat and then green screen really bad but early on i didn't want to be like debbie downer being like hey the cgi sucks <laughs> have everybody in the comments book this is quiet down oak it doesn't matter yeah. but when they're on the boat the close-up scenes you could tell they're on a set the scenes where there's the backdrop, the CGI was so bad. I kept like, this looks like the background in the movie yeah. 300. That's why I asked what year okay. it came out. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, uh, you know, for me, and I'll, I'll just wrap it up with this, that it was a fantastic movie. It's a, it's a trip you love taking with people who have not seen it before. Yeah. Uh, this is one of those movies that's so much fun to watch somebody else react to. So I'm sure all of you out there are going to love it as much as I did. And uh, if there's one thing I know when you see a character, if they have a Band-Aid on their head, they're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, come on. Nelly wasn't crazy and all of his music videos with a Band-Aid. You watch wrestling, you know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about. But, uh, <laughs> no, this was really interesting and you know, obviously, like uh, a trip. And you know, I mean, you're sitting here trying to wonder: Is he right? Who's right? Who's wrong? Uh, is Ben Kingsley right the whole time? Which it turns out, you know, he was. You know, he, he thought up this whole idea that it was that, that his wife burned in a building, and like that was right away at the beginning of the of the movie that he stated mm-hmm. that on the boat. So. If it's been two years, yeah, he's been had a, he's had a long time to make his own Elaborate. theory, his whole yeah. detail by detail of what happened and like how he never had kids. Because like even when Dave was like, "Oh, that's his daughter," which in, in the end you were right when you said that, but at the time I'm like, "No, no, Dave." He, we're all like, "No, Dave, he didn't have any kids." Oh, uh, look at that! It was him the whole time. Uh, the Emily Mortimer character was just a nurse that came in and played a part. She. Kudos to her as a nurse and actress at the same time, doing that to Andrew the whole time to throw him off. Because they, and just the idea that we're going to do this elaborate, or elaborate, elaborate game for you to try and snap you back to reality. It's just, it's a crazy thing yeah. to consider. Because he hurt, me. like, oh, he already hurt orderlies and nurses, but he hurt them again. So yeah. this, yeah. this is <laughs> going on for two so, years. <laughs> Well, we'll give it one more try, one more try. But yeah, this was a lot of fun and very. Sometimes I can have fun with those conf- with the confused in movies. This one I did have a lot of fun with it, just to try and think of what was right and what was wrong all the way up to the end, which is what they did to me. I mean, I didn't figure it out at all early, so this was a lot of fun. I mean, I, it's a really good movie. A lot of twists and turns. Mm-hmm. It's just as 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 a parent that last. Mm-hmm. scene when he got home was was really hard to watch and i understand 
you know, where you're coming from as a director, like what's the most traumatic thing a person could go through where they needed to create this alternate reality and losing your kids would be, it's about the most traumatic thing I can think of, especially now as a parent, having your wife or your significant other be the one who did it, make it that much worse. And then on top of it, having them put out signs to you, kind of letting you know that something needs to be done and you ignoring it is, I mean, losing your children, I, you know, it's, it's unimaginable. But having your significant other be the one that's doing it, I mean, how, how could anybody l like live with themselves or, or live a normal life? So it was, a, you know, it got a little dark and it's like, I like good murder mysteries. Uh, or not, not necessarily a murder mystery, but suspense movies, mysteries, and yeah, a lot of them are dark. I mean, Seven is one of my favorite movies of all time. That's about as dark as it gets. Um, but it was, it was just like I said, the kid thing. It was really hard to watch, and and that's not to take anything away from how brilliant this film was. Um, you know, you you hear bits and pieces that it's a mystery. Like I said, I've seen bits and pieces of the movie. I've just never stuck with it. So. Everything was really vague. I remember some scenes with Mark Ruffalo vaguely, um, but I mean the, the twist. He was really good in this. The twists and turns and the little things, like when they came up on the island, and the guards were all like this, and I'm like, if it was two federal marshals, they'd all be like, "Hey guys!" And I think Answer had said, "Well, yeah, but somebody just escaped," and like then I just I was like, "Oh, that's true. Maybe they're keeping on guard just in case the person who escaped." But I'm like, they still went to Ben like. Super, kind of jumpy super tense yeah. and jumpy with yeah. him there the way the warden was looking at him but again so i, I guess that's I, why ruffalo struggled with taking the gun out because he's not used to not doing yet. it oh, oh now that makes sense because yeah. he's the a doc guards were all looking at him and stuff like that i was like the way that especially the warden they showed the warden looking at him and i'm like okay something's weird here the way the he's giving him a sign at him. Yeah. but at the same time again we have seen in it's other, like a power struggle we've thing. seen in other movies and stuff when you have federal authorities mm -hmm. come in look it's it's in a million different yeah. kind of movies and whatever yeah. movies oh the feds are here We're die hard taking over die hard johnson and johnson the feds are taking over here so it's not an uncommon story so i mean you can look over it a little bit the twists and turns the doctor in the cave and i mean it was just I, an absolute brilliant story as far as the twists and turns is just the reason why he's there was heavy. The ending was just crazy. And that is something I never saw coming. And at first when he was saying it and he's like, oh, the, you know, blah, blah, blah. And Ruffalo looks over and kind of shakes his head. I'm like, oh, he regressed. And then when he was like, oh, it's, is it better to, you know, live as a monster or die as a, uh, you know, a good human being or whatever he said, a, a good, good man. man. And then he just got up and, and walked. I thought it was going to be, you know, like he's going to try to fight him. So they pur purposely take him out. And he just walked, uh, presumably, to be, the lighthouse. Had to be lobotomized. And, you know, and I and I was thinking about that, and it didn't hit me right away. But as, as you two gentlemen were talking, I was like, I wonder if he's going there because he hopes that it just erases everything. Yeah, I can change it for I mean, better. Because, you know, they, they talked about the lobotomy making them less aggressive. I don't think he wants to be less aggressive. I, I think I don't think he wants to not think he's, you know, investigating the island anymore. I think he doesn't want to remember it. Well, they did make remarks to that, too. Like, it does more. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so I think that was his hope. Like, if they weren't going to take him out, he wanted to go have this surgery and hopefully forget what happened to his children all yeah he's, he's still looking for a way out he's a way to escape for a way out so yep. by him faking that he was still that that was his next chance for a way out they they do the lobotomy and maybe he never remembers that he was a marshal maybe he never remembers that he was in the war maybe he never remembers that he had kids yeah that was the, the other the things the other twist all the things, flashbacks of the war all the yeah. things that continuously brought him pain and suffering he was hoping if he just pretended for that one minute, they would do the procedure that would that would help take that away. And it, uh, it was a heck of a twist. This is 1,000% the movie I will now go and start looking for. Like, I don't know if there's, I don't even want to say looking for theories. It'd be interesting to see if Scorsese just flat out explained. Um, Diamond Dave um, was rolling through some reviews and stuff like that. I thought I caught one saying it was based off a book adaptation. So. I don't know if it ended in the same fashion. Help us out in the comments below, please. Um, is this, did they give 
um, either Scorsese or an interview or in the book, did they give a clear-cut ending as to what happened? Or was it left open just for interpretation? And if that, that's mm. the case, I want to hear what people's yeah, I mean, different ideas were about how it ended. Was this, what, did he really regress back into the character right away? Or was that on purpose? Yeah, so for me, as you all saw, I was pretty confused. But <laughs> eventually I just stopped trying. Especially to, the yeah, glass of water. The, yeah, I was. <laughs> yep. Well, okay, so. <laughs> Basically, I stopped trying to guess uh, what was going to happen because it was all over the pl- for me all over the place. But then the second when the glass, I caught the glass right. Like I, I'm surprised they kept that as long as they did because yeah, they really showed it that. was in your face, and I was oh shit, she doesn't have. Well, I like, saw it a number of times. I never caught it till this viewing. So. Really? Well, that's interesting yeah. because like after that moment, my. That's when I was done of trying yeah, to guess. Had, I'm like, I don't even know what's real. So how do I even try to jump the cuts. puzzles at right. all? Uh, now the whole mark in the beginning with you know fumbling, handing over yeah. the, the piece. I was just like, what? That's obviously for something. Yeah, he's a U.S. He's a U.S. Marshal. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah, I thought that was think great. He'd be better at that. He's a U.S. Marshal. Yeah, I thought that. I thought that was great. Now you know, looking back, uh, with the with. The whole story, I, I feel like that was just a whirlwind of stuff of what we were going through with Leo in this. Uh, that ending, though, yes, that was crazy to actually see it, how it ended up being for real. Because, again, this whole movie was what's real. So it was great to see that as well. Uh, for the ending, that's pretty much what I was thinking, too, with Dave there. It's he, he knew if he did regress right there by saying what he said that they had no other choice because uh what's his name the mandarin what's his name oh, sir ben, ben kingsley. kingsley sir sir, sir kingsley sir was yes. pretty adamant about saying this is our last chance for you otherwise they are going to cook you mm-hmm. and well as soon as mark gave him the head nod and he said that line that was the line that i'm at least for me 100 percent certain he was done he didn't want anything else yep. he just wanted to, to either go out or get erased and i i think personally he wanted to go out but who knows i mean i think this ending is left for your own interpretation yep. of it so maybe he maybe it was just for a full out erase but yeah, i, I mean, still think he was looking to go out out yeah i so. mean well they showed the needle in the thing with the orderly he's definitely 1000 percent going to be lobotomized 1000 percent. and you know, I, I think he made sad. his decision when he heard that he had, he had successfully done it nine months ago and then regressed i think that like kind of pushed more like all right i did it again but how long is this going to last and then he's just like yeah you know just what? A, screw it maybe you know, this amazing will work. ending yeah, yeah that was an amazing ending yeah. Right there, because again, this whole thing was just until that glass point. Yep. That's when I was like, "This is a done. movie. This is a movie that you. I think you have to rewatch. Like, it'll yes. be, it'll oh, be yeah. so obvious to you when you go back and watch it because you notice every single person in that hospital. They're always looking at Leo all the time when he's on screen, oh, and you you notice yeah, all that little when stuff. Like, hey, this whole yeah. thing was collaborated. Yep, like, yep. You start to put the it biggest together, start collaboration. Looking, you start telling that everybody else was acting. Yep. You know. Mm-hmm. So with my score here, I will actually, it was an automatic three because it had Leo, but now seeing <laughs> seeing this and probably, you know what, it might change later on after I do, a, if I can get a chance to do a rewatch, I will do a rewatch if I can. Uh, right now I'm going to say a four, because uh, again, the way that whole thing was set up and now like trying to remember the guards because they were all pretty... With the stairs, mm-hmm. some of them were kind of holding a little it's aggression back. Yep. Uh, so again, the the storytelling on that and the way that everything was slowly revealed. I feel like the first hour, the first hour was pure pure setup to pure think you one way, yeah. yep. and then that last hour was here's one here's one answer, here's another answer. So again, kudos. And, and again, Leo, like you said, well, every actor in yeah, here, an actress, uh, just rocked it now knowing what i know so i was just gonna say when they first walked up the guard uh when we're watching the screen (laughs) on the right on leo's left the guard was like standing there Mm -hmm. like you know ready to jump as you said that i looked at the other old guard too he had a mean mugging too they go back and they say you attacked and injured guards and they were asking we got to light tower how bad did you hurt the guard and i wonder that's why because that guard looked like 
pissed yeah. at him. He was like, he was probably the guy last that's time. That's weird. Yep. Yeah, imagine being a guard where they're like, hey, we're gonna try this experiment. Yeah. We're gonna pretend like this guy is a uh, marshal. He was marshal, like what so he I used to be. Stand there, this guy who hit me. Yep. I gotta pretend he's a yep. marshal. All right, so your score. Uh, we're going out of order today, huh? No, we're just going no. left to right. Um, sure. I thought. That, look, I thought it was it was brilliant. Um, it's um, somebody's comment up. It's sad, but kept me engaged. <laughs> It's in, uh, like, look, the, the nature of, of why Leo is the way he is, is again, just about as sad as it gets. And I feel like that should impact my score somehow because it, uh, it, it's, it's a weird, like emotional roller coaster. But I do think this is a, absolutely a five answer movie. Yeah. I think when you look at all the components of the movie, the storytelling, the acting, the twists, the turns, the way they keep you engaged, uh, this movie was, was, was absolutely brilliant in so many different fashions and it was you know had great acting it, it suspense i don't know if this I, I this has to be considered a suspense movie i'm guessing it's suspense like, thriller, easy thriller. Yep. yeah easily um so that's what i was thinking <laughs> what is this a thriller is a suspense no it's uh, a comedy it's of a course five, it's a suspense it's a, thriller. it's a five answer movie yep. for me yeah for me i go five out of five answers as well i thought it was complete perfection there's not a thing about it i would change and what i did like is I feel, and I i shouldn't say I feel, I'm pretty sure a story, stories similar to this have been told where, you know, the guy goes to investigate a prisoner in an asylum, and then all of a sudden, next thing he knows, he's on the inside, I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy, let me out, sort of thing. But what I did like is that they gave us a definite ending, because I think it would have been so easy to roll credits with us not knowing if he is was Leo, sane or not. Well, not only is he not sane, but did this actually happen? Or was it all an elaborate setup for the government to have these spies who are essentially robots who will go do whatever they want? I just think that if anybody but Scorsese does this, they maybe leave that open-ended as like a, aha, gotcha, you don't know what happened. I like how it was definite, definitive and clean, and they closed the book on it. End of story. That's why I gave it five. I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five. I thought it was really fun. A lot of twists, a lot of turns. Turns, and so I give it a four and a half. All right. Well, so there you have it. Another good, was this a suggestion, D Diamond Dave? Yep. Another great them, suggestion. Just because of our whole, like, I guess you could say we've had a small little Leo run that people yeah, are like, yeah, okay. all right, now you got to do Shutter. Hey, we're not complaining. So for Diamond Dave, Appleton Oak, Mason Quinn, I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.